Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and our next guest has turned her personal agony and despair of being in an abusive relationship into a platform for helping others. And we want to warn you, some of the subject matter and images may not be suitable for children, but please welcome a woman of courage and strength, survivor and author of Yellow Tulips on a Cloudy Day, Christy Sims. Welcome to the show, Christy! to have you here. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, let's, yes, good. Well, let, let's talk about this. Um, you're a survivor of horrific domestic um, abuse. Take us through the day that changed your life forever. Um, well, it was about five years ago, a little over five years ago, April 28th, 2013. I was in a relationship with a guy. The misconception is that this was an abusive relationship. Right. Physically, it was not, mm -hmm. okay? I told this guy that I did not want to get married, and that's one of the biggest mistakes you can make is telling someone you're going to leave them mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so I told him I wasn't going to get married. I don't know what his thinking was because I don't understand evil. Right. But he planned an acid attack. You know, acid attack mm -hmm. is a global issue. I'm the only one in the, in the state of Georgia, but it's a global issue. And he decided that he was going to design this acid attack, you know, to make it look an accident. So mm -hmm. it took two years to put him away. But he threw acid in my face. It trickled down. I'm covered over 20% of my body. Um, I didn't know what it was. So I didn't even know what to do mm -hmm. do with, for myself that day. You right. know, he called nine one one. He set this whole thing up to look like he was trying to, to help, help me. Mm -hmm. um, very methodical, mm -hmm. very sinister. You know, and so um, I was burned. Forty percent of twenty percent of my body is burned. Another twenty percent is scarred mm. because they had to take so much, do so much skin grafting. I was in a coma for two months. Woke up from a coma blind. He threw the acid in my eyes. It's a miracle that I can even see. See, right. And I don't care what anybody says. It's a miracle yes. that I can see. Yes, Lord. Okay, because look what it did to my body. Right. But just imagine this being in my eyes. Wow. So, Goodness. you know, I, um, I've i gone through 13 surgeries. And I woke up from a coma and this guy was walking around free. Mm. Mm. The police believed him when he said it was an accident. And I was in a coma, wow. so I couldn't You couldn't, speak you for couldn't say. Yeah. But here you are, you are here 13 surgeries later, as yes. you said. But what kept you going even on your worst day? I'm a very spiritual person and I had two children at home. Mm -hmm. At the time, my daughter was 10 and my son was 13. Mm -hmm. And um, I just kept telling myself, I, I, first of all, even when lying in a coma, I was in a medically induced coma, so I had some conscious mm -hmm. awareness that, you know, I didn't know exactly what happened until I woke up. But I knew that I wanted to live, and I knew that no matter what happened, no matter what I looked like, I could not leave this world and leave my kids in this world without That's right. me. Yes. That's right. So my children. Yeah. My children. <laughs> yes. They yeah. help. Yeah. Yes. You know? Absolutely. So. After, obviously, after, after enduring all of this, you have been on a whirlwind mm -hmm. to tell your story. I remember one of your first radio interviews was, was with me yeah. back in 2014. Yes, and thank you for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How are you better today? You know, when someone, women, we are defined a lot by society, by the way that we look. Mm -hmm. And I was an attractive woman. You know, I had features. I had, you know, dimples and I didn't have any scars on my body mm -hmm. anywhere, you know. And so I had to, when I lost my outside, I had to learn to hone in on that stuff that I have on the inside. Mm -hmm. And there are certain things that you just can't burn. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I have Come integrity through. and I have character and I yeah. have dignity and I have grace yes. and kind. Yes. And you can't burn those qualities. Oh. And so he tried to destroy me, but what he did was he made me even stronger. Mm. And what he did was a woman told me the other day, she says, I am learning to love myself through you. Oh, and so I know amazing. that this is not just about domestic violence. This mm -hmm. is learning how to love yourself with scars and bruises and bumps. And I don't mean just external scars. I mean internal scars. Yes. Oh. I wear these scars for all the domestic violence survivors. See, remember, I wasn't being physically abused. Right, right. There are women being beaten every single day. I wear those scars for them oh, because Jesus. they don't get a chance to be on TV. Wow. Mm. They don't get a chance to be on TV. So, so I'm rocking nice. these scars. I'm going to make them sexy. Come on. Yeah. Come through. Yes. yes. Christy, come yes. Through. yes. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. My God, my yeah. God. So nobody has to feel sorry for me. I am not a victim. You know what? I'm not even a survivor anymore. I've been through too much to just survive. I'm thriving right now. Come on. I'm thriving Woo. right now. Woo. I can't. I just can't. Yes. But this has not only changed your lives. This hasn't just even changed your children's lives. I mean, you're changing lives right here and right now. You yes. are just I hope so. inspiring I hope so. and educating and just, just, I love you already. Thank I mean, you. I don't even have a woman crush right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was the purpose. Yes. yes. We don't yes. go through this stuff for no reason. They yes. don't let us go through this stuff for no reason. Yes. But if you could 
tell us about how it affected your children, how it impacted your children, if you don't mind telling that story. I want you to imagine being a little girl, and she used to look like me, mm -hmm. and now she doesn't. You have little girls, you understand, right? Yes. So she wakes, so I wake up one day and she sees me. I couldn't see my children for the first few months because I was so disturbing that them looking at me was a problem. I had to be mm. away from home for six months. Mm. And so, and it, it took a year before I could even have my face first facial surgery. They make you wait a year. So if you can imagine, you know, I look, you know my story. Yes. I lived behind a veil and sunglasses for an entire year. Yeah. Couldn't even go in public. So I live like a monster, like somebody hidden in a room, me with my dynamic personality. Yeah. It is just not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And so my daughter, um, first of all, she had to get adjusted to the fact that her mother does not look the same. She was only 10. Mm -hmm. And then her identity had to shift a little bit because I don't look like my mother anymore. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Yes. And my son, because I was a, not single, because I have an amazing ex-husband. I was a divorced mother. Okay. My son felt like the, the, the man of the house and so he holds this in his heart. Like I couldn't protect my mom. Wow. So just imagine what that does to a 13 year old boy mm. and the anger that he walked around with. Yes. So. Yes. Well let's talk a little bit about the Christy Sims Foundation yes. and yes, 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 this yes. amazing book. <laughs> yes. Tell me more about the Christy Sims Foundation and what is, what is your mission? Well you know originally when this happened my surgeries, my, my initial cost to have these surgeries was one point two million dollars okay before I even left before I even started reconstruction so we started raising money and then you know when I started to get better I said you know what we're gonna turn this thing into a 5013 C mm -hmm. I'm a helper by nature I was a professional counselor when this happened to mm -hmm. me I said you know what let's turn this into something to help other people but I don't want to wait and give grants and help people after the fact yes prevention education and awareness mm -hmm. I go into high schools I go into middle schools the highest rate of domestic violence happens between ages 16 and 24 mm -hmm. to babies yes okay so you can't wait till somebody's 30 years old this is a tough subject mm -hmm. to talk about it right. you got to talk about it at 13 years old That's before right. they start going That's into right. it. Before they do. You okay. know what? You're so amazing. We're going to have more with Christy Sims when we return so we can talk more about this book. Stay right where you are. The amazing story of Christy Sims Thank continues you. on Sister Thank Circle you. Live. Thank you. Ooh. All right. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Uh, we are here with Christy Sims, who is a domestic uh, violence thriver, which she <laughs> said uh, before the break. Uh, and before we uh, get back into your book, I don't want, I want everyone to remember, or here we have on the, the number on the screens, the National Domestic Violence Hotline is 1-800-799-7233. All right. Well, I would like to talk about your yellow yellow tools on a cloudy day. I was just browsing through it. You actually chronicled your experience in a journal in this book. Can you tell us just a little bit about that? I started writing that book. I was a professional counselor and I used to tell my clients, when you're in a lot of pain, sometimes you can't articulate it, mm -hmm. so write it down. Mm -hmm. So I, I wrote every single day from the day that that happened, I went back and I, um, in retrospect, I, I journaled my time in a coma. Mm -hmm. um, everything, the blindness, everything, all of the surgeries, the trial, everything is in that book right there. Right. But I wrote it from the perspective of a counselor going through crisis. So it's a self-help book. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Really quickly, that guy, we don't name him. 20 years, right? 20 years in jail. And you fought for that. Yes. You fought, fought for that for 10 years. That's right. Can we give it up for this amazing thriver, amazing. Christy Sims, Thank everybody. You, Thank you so Thank much you. for being Thank here you so today. Much. You are absolutely amazing. beautiful. Amazing. I love you. I love you. I love you. Amazing. Tomorrow, Lil Mama joins us right here on Sister Circle Live. Have an amazing, tenacious Tuesday. Because this woman is tenacious. <laughs> yes. yes, she is. Thank you.